In this video, we'll take a look at some of the new mapping features or reorganization that's been done recently on the Garmin Montana 700. I'm going to rehash a few existing topics that I've done on previous videos, but uh, there's enough changes here. I might as well go through this again as it is as of March 2023, if you have a 700 or a 710. So first thing, we're on in our map screen, and you can see that we have our zoom in, zoom out, and then we have our map layer button. So let's just tap on that. And now we have a number of options. Maybe depending, last time you looked at this, you may have some different options. But let's start from the top. One of the new features is the ability to create custom map sets. This allows you to configure very specific map sets if you have multiple products on your device. Unfortunately, you can't add bird's eye and you also have to order things a little bit differently. But if you have a bunch of very specific hunting maps, very specific custom maps, then you can set things up to have it set up and activate or disable maps. So it's a bit of an easier way to do this. So let's uh, create one here and see what this looks like here. So what we'll do here is we're going to go down to map setup and we're going to go to map manager. There's a couple ways to get to this, but map manager is the way to go. And we're going to tap on map sets. And before we get going, automatic maps, we want that disabled because if we're using map sets, that will dictate the order of the maps. And also city navigator will be on top, topo will be on the bottom. So there's a lot of different criteria. So uh, play around with it to make sure that you can see uh, the right map layer. So here I already have a map set created. It's called Mersey. I can tap on it. I can delete it, edit, or rename it. I'm just going to delete it. I'll just create a brand new one. And for here, I'm just going to create a, another one here. I'll just going to call this one Bowwater. Give it a name. And then from here, depending on the map product you have installed on your device, you can enable or disable. So... Uh, we definitely want the base map turned on. That's that's probably that is a prerequisite. You need your base map turned on, and then from there you can play around with it. So this is a custom map that I have downloaded. So I definitely want that turned on, for example. And well, that's it really in this case. I, if I had other custom maps, I could do that. Again, you can't enable bird's eye via this way. You got to do it individually. So anyway, we'll uh, now that we have the map created. Now we have Bowwater, now we can turn it on. So now, when we go back to our map page and go to our screen, we can see we have Bowwater. And then we can toggle the map on and off. You can see what happens here, right? City Navigate, which is your base map, will turn on, turn off. All right, like that. So based on your needs, you may want to toggle things the way you want. Next thing is the satellite. So that is your bird's eye imagery that you have on your phone. Now they've changed how you get to this. Now it used to be before you used to have an icon on your screen that has bird's eye direct and be able to get in there. Now with the recent firmware change, you can't, there's no button to go directly to it. You gotta go through map manager. Let's tap on that. And the next place you're gonna go is Outdoor Maps Plus, which is a subscription service, 50 bucks a year, allows you to download via the Wi-Fi on the Montana, uh, very specific additional maps, public lands, BLM lands, um, very specific to the U.S. Uh, I know I'm in Canada. I tried to buy it just to check it out. It wouldn't let me buy it. So I think this is really locked in to, to the States. But let me know in the comments if you've tried it out. You can definitely go to the Outdoor Maps to see uh, what other map layers. It's a very good product. It should be probably free, but for 50 bucks a year, if you're really into these maps, raster maps, scan maps, you know, might be something worthwhile. But anyway, back to the bird's eye. Uh, this is where you're going to add your bird's eye imagery by adding satellite imagery. We need our Wi-Fi connection turned on. So we want to go to our Wi-Fi setup. Let's turn it on. And we'll find our network's Wi-Fi connection right here. And once it finds the Wi-Fi, you're going to be able to download directly. So this is a different way of downloading Bird's Eye than if you were downloading it specifically from Basecamp and then connecting to your device and adding it. So this is completely different. 
uh, bird's eye product. Uh, there is a certain limit, the amount of tiles you can download, uh, but uh, for uh, most for most people, I think the default is pretty much the same. So you can see down here, I have a number of bird's eye imagery that I've downloaded previously. But here at this point, if you want to download some additional satellite uh, data, all you have to do is tap on that. It's connecting via Wi-Fi, not via your phone. And then from here, you can just play around and scroll to the area where you want to download. So let's say you wanted to scroll around a bit and then you wanted to do something. Let's say you want to do it maybe here. And you can tap on that. You can see 22 megs to download and no other options here. You should be able to edit this and then you can download it and then it's gonna download the map. This might take a couple of minutes. Uh, there was a question on a previous video. Can you download like an entire track? Like for example, download the Appalachian Trail. Well, you're gonna be limited and how much you can download at a time. You also have a limit of number of tiles you can download on the device, uh, but it's, you can only do like a section at a time. I've tried doing it, but it's also very time consuming. But if you wanted to uh, build or download the satellite imagery of a popular riding area or hiking area that you go to on a regular basis, you can uh, do it this way too. This might take between a minute, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, depending on the size. So this will download. We don't need to stay on this. We can just go back and once we do have our satellite imagery downloaded, for example, what we can do, we can zoom in. And again, you can tap on your layers. And I'm just going to go down here. Make sure we're a little bit closer. Tap on our layers. We don't have anything enabled. right? So I can turn on the satellite imagery. And that will give me the satellite right there. We can get in a little closer if we wanted to, like that. And if we wanted to turn on Topo Active behind it to get some trail information, then we have that too, for example. All right, next one is the popularity. So that one here, that is an interesting uh, map. So this is really an integration between Garmin Connect and your device. So basically, if you're a Garmin Connect user, you bike or hike and you upload courses or tracks up to Garmin Connect, you'll create a kind of a heat map. And uh, this will be visible when you're doing a few things. So for example, let's say I'm over here in this area. So if you want to create a course or a track, going for a ride or whatever, well, you can turn on popularity. And what you're going to see here, may not see it properly here, but you're going to see the lines and the streets have all turned different shades of purple, light purple, dark purple, and black. This will indicate the popularity. The darker the color, the more popular the route or course is. Meaning that, for example, this darker purple one, that's the rails to trails. Obviously, this here is your main highway, so people are not doing biking necessarily on that road. But, you know, you can see here that there's a uh, lesser used trails and then we can follow this gets darker and darker and you can see very black line which is the most popular segment and this corresponds to off-roading anything like that so now if you wanted to build a course or you're planning your route you can plan based on the shading of the color so that because this is the route that other people have used and uploaded to Garmin Connect so that is kind of a quick way to see what is the most popular way it uh, doesn't quite say exactly how often that is update, but basically when you do round trip courses, uh, that information, once, once you upload it to Garmin Connect, gets added to the community. So you know, for example, here, these black lines, you know, these are the most popular routes, and the darkest one would be the, like the second popular. So that would be popularity. And there's also, uh, when you're doing routing, Based on the situation, you may use the popularity routing when it creates the courses. So we'll cover that in another video once we play around with it a little bit more. Uh, the other map layer that you have available is public lands. So I'm in Canada, so public lands doesn't apply to me because this is mostly for the U.S. So let's go to a spot in Maine. 
So you can see here that we are the entrance of a state park. And if I turn on public lands, you'll be able to see that the shading has changed. And this is what this layer does. This just helps you visualize the public lands. If you go to different Utah, uh, different states like Utah, Idaho, you can see here that you have the state park. And then you have here in this case, this was a recent uh, monument or national forest that got added a couple years ago. You can see the boundaries for that. So depending if you're doing writing or hunting, this may be particularly useful for you in this case. And of course, you can just turn that off for that. And then the last thing is the uh, city navigator map. That is the bare bones map or, or kind of like base level map. You can turn that on. It's a very ugly map. However, this map will allow you to do turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Uh, the, the very early users of the Montana didn't have this map layer available, so uh, you wouldn't be able to, to really uh, use this. Uh, use it until very recently that they added this layer. So now you can do turn-by-turn. -turn. So if I turn on Topo Active, you can see how it gets replaced. And that's it. That's pretty much it. You saw here that in our prompt, if we go to Map Manager, it downloaded our satellite imagery. Oops, not here. Go to Outdoor Maps Plus, and there's our map download. And there you go. Now you can uh, take a look at it by going here and turning on satellite. And there's the map that we, the area that we uh, downloaded. And then if you want to know if that was uh, a, pl a spot where people do some riding, you can turn on popularity. And sure enough, there seems to be some tracks. So this could be an area that I want to research and build a course next time I'm out doing some off-roading or ATV riding. All right, so I think that's about it. What I want to show you for these new features that are mainly at the new map manager. Uh, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments and we'll talk to you guys next time.